It was nice. But here we go, game one. Sweet Tea against XX. Tags currently switched up though, so gotta change that back eventually. But yeah. I don't think I've actually. I might have seen this match, never mind. <laughs> it's a pretty common matchup. Thank you, thank you. Oh, this matchup. I played this one a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Play the same color, the same color, don't you? I, I played a blue one, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, but yeah, XX. Uh, oh, yeah, the names are switched. Uh, I got confused there for a second. Yeah, yeah XX doing a d pretty good job on the matchup so far. I feel like in general, Inkling has enough lingering hitboxes, large hitboxes, and he's short enough to be able to contest a character like Pichu pretty well, in my personal opinion. And he's got a lot of kill options just like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doesn't even need a pummel or anything because uh, you know Peach is the lightest character in the game. Lightest character in the game. Mm -hmm. just, as a lightest character, just, it's just destroyed. Yeah. Any character with 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 a good kill throw because <laughs> Peach is pretty much like it's just like the yeah, guy Joe Free card that match it for them. Mm -hmm. If you can get that grab, it's, pretty, it's basically over at that point. But mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, going for the back air, and you can get a, a lot of the the back air setups into grab a lot earlier just because uh, you know lighter character that means it receives more hits done at earlier percents. Okay. If he matched out of that, that was over. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, he was really confident up on that down smash. He but really wanted that read. Mm -hmm. Not quite going to be able to find it. And yeah, respecting the four tilt. Just to make sure he doesn't get killed later than he needs to. Yeah, good cross up. I mean, just in general, XX doing a good job of mixing up where he needs to be, but that back air finally going to be able to do it. But he still has 119. Peach's back air is broken. <laughs> just straight up. <laughs> Like, there's so much set not back. It can kill you like right at twenty if you str if you string two together off stage. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. There's so much set not back and like, not much not my growth growth at all. So like it, it it just it's so devastating. Mm -hmm. All right, forces him to recover low. Yeah, and uses the down tilt to keep him off stage. Ooh. Ooh, very risky, but paid off from the end. Yeah, and it's best prepared for it too. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes the the riskiest option is the best option because your opponent's not expecting it. So. That was definitely one of those scenarios, and he had enough time to not make exacts react accordingly. Yeah, staying right outside of range again. I like what he's doing. He's waiting for Sweet Tea to strike first. If you try to push buttons against Pichu, usually you're going to lose. But if you're waiting and positioning yourself accordingly, I think that's the name of the game here. It really and is. You can uh, get a lot of good stuff out of it. Pichu being a character is very hard to hit. Mm -hmm. But if you do hit him, you get a lot of reward off of him at least. Yeah. Is even though Pichu's hits are a little bit disjointed, they're still pretty small, just considering oh. the character. Wow, that down smash. That down smash is so good. Mm -hmm. In general, Pichu, I feel like, yes, some things are disjointed, but also Pichu's still small to begin with, so those hitboxes are already small like and difficult for Pichu to approach with. But on the flip side, they're really fast, so if you're stuck in the boxing scenario, usually Pichu's going to win. But if you're positioning yourself, staying right outside, and if you're a character like Inkling that can whiff punish really well, and stay right outside the dash back range, and then come back in and get a punish, then you can do really well against this kind of character. Sweet Tea's sticking with the Pichu as well. Guess he doesn't like Trainer's matchup. Trainer does well, or Inkling does well against Trainer in my opinion too, so I feel like that might be the thing. It's like, okay, if, if both matchups are kind of eh or iffy, then might as well go with a higher tier character technically. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Mm -hmm. I think like, probably Avastar would be like the one character that's decent against Inkling. Yeah. So yeah, I can see that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Booyah into the neutral area. Is that they call it the Booyah? Back. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I, li I like it a lot because he actually says it in the, or the Inkling say it in the game. You know, always yeah. Booyah back. I'm like, Koopa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his Bowser totally says that. <laughs> All right, anyways, here we go. Ooh, he tried to catch a high recovery with that Thunder. I like the idea, but sometimes uh, uh, not quite the right time to do it. Perfect shield right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just the right amount of time. Most of the time, Inklings are just kind of scouting out for that double jump and then landing, and you don't have an option left. And so you're looking for potentially oh. pressing a button other than shield to try and get back to the stage. And Very back nice step with the back air there. Mm -hmm. That was really good. Okay, another That's big throw combo, potentially. No, just going to air dodge to the ledge. Very nice positioning from XX. He was looking for it actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just double back here off stage. Oh boy. Good this neutral air snipe. Difficult place to be in right now. Yeah, now all of a sudden, since. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. 
59 percent. <laughs> mm -hmm. Such a good Ford smash. It's one of those things where it's all. Ooh, oh, wow! Nice, nice snipe on that one. It's one of those things where Xax knows that he has to try and take the stock soon, otherwise, like Pichu can run away with the lead. But by doing that, he's forcing himself to approach, and then that's where Pichu does best because you know you're usually going to get beaten out by either a hit, disjointed hitbox, or um, or just in, in frame data, you're just going to get beaten out. So Xax pushed himself a little bit too far, and then he kept trying to go in towards. Uh, Sweet Tea, and then he lost another stock extremely early. Now he's got to come back from it even more. So I'm noticing in this matchup, especially now, is that it's actually having a tough time actually getting any sort of ink in general on Pichu. Because Pichu is not sitting on the ground too often. He can't do his jab. He can't. He's having a hard time hitting with any of the, the splat bombs as well. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just, it's just difficult. <laughs> yeah, wow. X is very brave. Just did up smash out of nowhere. And that will work out just fine. No edge guard going to come in from Sweet Tea. And yeah, you can tell X is respecting the potential four tilts that are going to come back. Uh, from the stage, great drift, and even used the grenade to try and keep him occupied, and yeah, just to uh, throw him out when he was in startup of neutral B. It's looking for a thunder red there. Mm -hmm. I've been a little early for that, but I don't know. Ooh. Great snap of the back air. That will not take it, though, unfortunately. Yeah, exactly. All of a sudden, he's got a second chance of life here. Oh my god, that was really scary. I thought he picked roll or something. That would have been really bad. Oh, yeah. I think actually because it jumped there, it might, might have might yeah, not Yeah, if, if he didn't jump, it would have connected, I think, but interesting. Alrighty. Exact still got a little bit of time to try and figure this out. Sweet Team, you know, just needs one stray hit. Mm -hmm. Almost got that one there, but just a, too much on stage. Yeah. F tilt the ledge. F tilt and Gerald anywhere Ooh, might do it. Oh, yeah. Like, like right there. Just like you said, yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay, all of a sudden, the the wider stage, I'm sure, on Town City helped him a lot because Pichu can just run around all over the place and just try to make Inkling play the catch-me game, especially when he has the lead. That was a big thing. If Sweet Tea took the first stock, then Inkling loses that matchup. If Inkling has the first stock, then he wins that matchup, in my opinion. I can see that. Mm -hmm. It's very volatile matchup in that regard. Mm -hmm. Because both characters are so, so... They have such great maneuverability. They have such great movement options in general. They're just... It's just great frame data too, and the combo game is pretty ridiculous for both of them. Yeah. Very explosive matchup in that regard. Mm-hmm. We're going back to Pokemon Stadium too, though. Trying to go for the loops, but CT actually fall off the platform there just barely. Mm-hmm. Oh! <laughs> I don't think I would have done it right then, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you never I, know. I still like the idea. I don't know. I got <laughs> a little bit of ink on him. It's, it wasn't like 40%, but still. Yeah, it, it just... It, could have potentially tilted Sweet T2. It's like, oh, I got hit by that, of all things. Like, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, good coverage. Ooh, very nice right off, mm -hmm. off the ledge there. Yeah. If you can position yourself to stay at the ledge for a long time, like Peach, or if you have a long-lasting hitbox like uh, Peach has with that back air and the neutral air, then it's really easy to edge guard inkling. Well, it is a matter of like what tools your characters have. Oh, miss it, but there, unfortunately. I think it might have been just going for maybe a jump up B or jump neutral B, but I don't know. Yeah, that was interesting. Maybe he was like trying to do the drift back, but then didn't press the actual jump button. Or could have been going for like a ground ground up B, mm -hmm. maybe because that's, that's a hitbox on. Maybe just use it to go straight past him, maybe. Oh wow, oh, he really he went very for, low for that yeah. one. I like the idea because he's been using side B rather than drifting to get the potential uh, agility recovery instead. Bad directional air dodge though. Mm -hmm. I'll barely catch him there. I just almost got away with that, too. He was on the very end, end of the air dodge, but mm -hmm. the forward air is still very, very good. Yep. So nice combos. Couldn't require such a situation there. Tried to with the down air, but it's just a bit out, just a bit out of range. Mm -hmm. Just too close to that platform. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 155. I mean, that's a percent you don't want your opponent, who is a Pichu, to be living at. That's definitely... Uh, Oh, Slight no. air on X axis part as oh. well on that air directional air dodge. Bad place to be in. Uh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, we still got two stocks to try and take off. So very, very possible. Mm -hmm. Inkling is definitely a character that can do this, <laughs> to say the least. As you saw, though, X axis had been trouble killing earlier. Mm -hmm. So it might actually uh, come back to haunt him and, like, and end this, in this game three. Yeah. Oh, he wanted it all. Nice I respect it. I respect it. Mm -hmm. Went for a very quick punish there. Oh, wow. Nice parry, actually. With the smaller characters, there's a little... Ooh, oh, that force match connected? Okay. 
I think my two framed. All righty. <laughs> Apparently, move can two we frame. We out here two framing. <laughs> with is just a, four smash. It's just a lot of hitboxes just reach really quickly on the list. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't even know it just hit, it just hit in that position. You know, mm -hmm. I'm 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 shook. Wow. All right. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Sweet Tea, after a little bit of a shaky start on game one, he's definitely brought it back and now potentially going in the loser's finals. Exax may not be able to get his run back on, oh, uh, on aim. Yeah. Teller carry pick now. I have not seen anyone actually use this inkling color before. I'm just going to be honest. Well, I, in general, I feel like no one uses the male colors. If they do, it's the blue one. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, true. who's going to use the purple helmet inkling? Like, let's be real here. I've seen, like, Ape Man use, use the blue one before, but never. But I've seen no one else actually use the green one. Yeah. <laughs> What's the other one, anyways? Like the, the purple helmet? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, who's going to use that one? Like safety first. <laughs> yeah. My roommate uses that one, Leaf <laughs> FC. Oh, man. Just a Leaf. Oh, my God. All right, I'm going to... Yeah, Leaf, Leaf's a loser. And he's <laughs> for using that <laughs> color. Right, anyways, here we go. Don't tell him I said that. Actually, tell him I said that. Anyways. He's probably watching right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All righty. Sweet Tea, again, with the control. I mean, he's been able to control the ledge and the edge guarding very well against Inkling. So, I mean, that's just the adjustment he needed. Potential read, but not quite. Going to get the right positioning for it. Very risky to be there. Mm -hmm. You can tell Exax is trying to push uh, his first stock to be able to take it against Sweet Tea first, mm -hmm. so that he can try and roll away with the lead. So he's using these like side Bs in neutral and trying to catch him off guard with it, and maybe catch and press a button, but it's not quite working out. Yeah, he really that first stock in this case, get a little momentum on his side, because otherwise he might might just like falter and just lose a set in the end. Mm -hmm. I know, like, this is what I think personally, like, I feel like sometimes if Inkling does not find side B, then he has trouble killing. Mm -hmm. Like, it, look, look at that. If he chooses at 152 and the back air didn't kill, like, it's not, it's not like, a, it's terrible to try and kill with Inkling, but it's, it can be difficult. Like, it, it, this is the second time that his opponents have been in, like, 160 because he can't just hit roller, and the straight, the safe aerials that Inkling possesses, he's just not quite getting them. I think, I think one of the biggest problems with Inkling is actually, like, a lot of their ground moves actually can't kill unless it's a smash attack. Mm -hmm. Like, down, to, down doesn't kill unless it's at the ledge, like, at, like, as a character like Peachy especially. Downs are barely doing it there. Yeah, never really did. I, <laughs> I almost, I almost <laughs> didn't do it. Yeah, I, I think he didn't know if cross-court um, back throw was going to do it, so then he decided to go for that instead. It worked out for him, finally. But the, the flip side that Inkling has is that he can be safe for a very long time, so as long as you have the patience and the mental fortitude for it, then yeah, Inkling will eventually get the kill. So it's just a matter of... He's got to be very patient and just like... He's got to wait for opportunity, really, more than anything else. Or maybe mm. just create it. Yeah. Cause like if you just side being neutral all the time, like they're gonna read that and can't can't get anything off of it. Mm -hmm. That was very smart from Exas. Waited for uh, Sweet Tea to press the button. Oh, yes, that's that what you. Good. That's, that's what, what you need. need right there. You need those tech chase situations. That's exactly what makes Inkling such a strong character, especially at those lower percents. Oh, good. High Read recovery. the wrong direction, but yeah, good recovery there from Exas. Mm-hmm. The back air comes out. The back air is super good because you can actually get a law off of that. You can get, you can get a straight up a grab combo off of that for until like I think like forty percent. Yeah, it's crazy. Exact's really trying to bring this back. Now he's all of a sudden he like I said he has the lead. Now I don't know why. Oh, he team. actually teched that second thunder on the ground just mm -hmm. to avoid that kill there. Yeah, that was super good. I'm very interested why Sweet Tea is always jumping after the up throw oh, into the nope, thunder. Uh, because I thought that he could just get like the regular thunder and then potentially get the kill. But he's always been opting for a jump, maybe to like to combo into a second one or something. Not 100% sure. So might be like a safety thing or anything else. Like just, uh, uh, but I'm not too sure. Like, maybe mm -hmm. he just wants even just wants to hit just for damage if yeah. anything. I don't know. Ooh, that was the right idea. Well, but he's still able to get it. Frame five, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Frame five, very spammable. <laughs> yeah. No snipe that time around. Uses the thunder to protect himself at the ledge. Very nice. But yeah, XX. Uh, as long as he doesn't mess up anything too bad, then if he can keep it in the control, then he should be fine. XX is not ever saying at all. He had a few opportunities to get like a smash chat to kill him, but like, it would have been very like safe from Medusa, but he's not ever saying at all. He wants to get this kill with something very safe. Yeah. Because he knows Petra can just kill him out of nowhere with a few combos. Mm -hmm. And that back air too off stage. 
Oh, yeah, but this is XX messing up all of a sudden. Like, 76%. Maybe. This is really bad. The directional air dodge comes out. Oh, oh the force smash. And he actually brought smash. it back. Oh, my God. Oh. That was it.